Coming up today on the Racer Report, heartbreak in Charleston, Illinois. We've got all the highlights of the Racers and the Panthers. Plus, we'll get you ready for a big family weekend at Murray State as the Racers host Tech. The Racer Report with Chris Hatcher begins right now. And we're here with head coach Chris Hatcher on the Racer Report after a very, very tough defeat. And probably in my years of covering Murray State football, definitely one of the top, toughest games I've ever had to watch the Racers endure. And coach, uh, uh, you, you get back into it here. It's a 50-49 it's a defeat in overtime on the road. How are you feeling today? Well, not very good, Dave. Yeah. Um, this is probably one of the, the hardest defeats that, um, that I've ever had to swallow. Um, strictly from the standpoint, I. I you know, I personally think we had the better football team. We had the game in hand on a couple occasions. We had an opportunity to put the game away there in the third quarter um, and just never did it. And, you know, you got to give Eastern Illinois great credit. Their, their players never quit. Um, their players kept coming back. And at the end of the day, they found a way to win the ball game, something that we did not do. Um, it doesn't make us feel any better. And um, it was just a very, very difficult night um, to, 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 to comprehend when we did so many good things, but also we did so many things um, yep, yep. In, in a very negative way that, that caused us to be defeated. Well, we're going to go ahead and roll the tape here from O'Brien Stadium in Charleston, Illinois. Racers' first night game uh, there since 1994. It's been a long time since we played a night game there. And, and we're going to pick it up, Coach, uh, about 1045 in the first quarter, already 14 nothing. You're, you're, you're in a hole right off the bat. Well, they came out, and um, we knew they had a great offense. They've shown that, and, and we, the speed of the game just really – really um, caught us off guard. I mean, we practice it, but it's very difficult to do. Um, but fortunately for us, our offense came back being down. There's a great play by Pat Robertson. It was actually a double pass call that they covered. Um, he did a good job of uh, making lemons out of lemonade. And we get it down there um, and, and uh, get it down there close. And Casey Brotman punches it in to put us down 14 to seven. That was a good sign to see our offense be able to fight back. Well, that was a nice drive there uh, for the racers. So that cut it to 14 to seven. Um, and then Eastern Illinois scored. They went for two to try to fake it and they missed it. So it's 20 to seven, about 6.32 to go in the opening quarter. And you guys are moving the football. Yeah, we are. That was a great throw and catch to Jordan Morrow, who um, hopefully we'll see a little more time out there at the wide receiver position with um, Jamal Berry there on the run, did a good job. And, um, here, Casey actually had an open receiver in the left part of the end zone and didn't see him, but he hits Navarre Griffin for the touchdown. And just kind of indicative of the way the night goes, we end up um, at that point uh, miss the extra point or, or, or do not handle the snap properly um, to make it a 20 to 13 ball game. Okay, so the racers are uh, trying to get back into it and they do that. So here we are at the start of the second quarter and this was a nice drive for a touchdown. Uh, you talked about Jordan Morrow. He brings a lot to the table. He does. He is great in space. He picks up a good block there by Pat Robertson. Um, he just really knows what to do with the football. And we call his number again on the screen. Um, play made an awesome play against Central Arkansas several weeks ago. Um, and takes it in, and um, now all of a sudden the score is back to even, and we're feeling really good about ourselves. Yeah, it's even, even Steven now. Both teams had uh, missed uh, an extra point, so it's 20 to 20. Uh, with under 11 minutes to go in the first half, here's Eastern on third and 10 from the 46. Uh, Walker gets a rush for two, but then Kevin Robinson forces a fumble there, and uh, and he also recovers it too. That was a nice play. Yeah, that was a big play for us. That was the first time we had stopped them the entire ball game. And now, you know, you, the momentum's really turned in our favor. We're moving the ball well. Um, our defense finally gets the old stop. And um, all of a sudden, you know, we're feeling pretty good about ourselves. Well, the racers then come off of this uh, uh, turnover here. That was the first turnover the racers had forced. Great play there by Robinson. Uh, and then Dwayne Brady had a good ball game too. And, uh, Talk about a kid who's got a nose for what to do. He, he certainly has. Yeah, well, there's no question. He's a fine football player. All of our running backs played really well. 
Um, but we bogged down and uh, very unfortunate at that time and were forced to kick a field goal, um, which as the game played on, we needed every point we could get. So the racers are up 23-20. Then they stop Eastern Illinois. We're back here with about eight minutes to go. Patrick Robertson get, catches a ball for 25 yards to the 45 and then Barry hits him for nine. Yep, and that was a big third down conversion to pad over the middle. And you can see, um, you know, Jamal starting to come into his own a little bit. We get a great drive going. Then on third down and goal, we call his number again. He's got great blocking up front. Um, and all of a sudden, after Jordan Benton's kick, who actually had a great night kicking the mm -hmm. football, um, we, we go up by 10. So now all of, th all of a sudden things are really going well for us. Uh, by the way, Jordan Bent was the specialist of the week uh, this week in the Ohio Valley Conference. So with about four minutes to go, the racers get another stop. And now here we are under, under two minutes before the half. You guys are running a little two minute drill. Yeah, and you know, our goal at the end of the half is to come out of there with points. We knew we were going to get the ball um, at, the, at the start of the second half. And um, we run a quarterback draw there. Casey gets it. Um, Thought that should have been a little bit of a late hit, but it wasn't called. We had to waste a timeout. He got the breath knocked out of him. Um, big catch to Walter Powell there, who continues to play well. 13 catches on the night. Um, he had a big day for us. Um, and then, you know, we, we, we come out of here, and, that, you know, these are one of those plays you wish you could have back. Casey does a great job of scrambling. We have Javante Trotter in the back of the end zone, and he just can't hang on. Um, and we're forced to, to kick another field goal and Jordan comes in, he boots it through. So now we're up 13 going into the half there, Dave. Um, and it very easily, you know, could have been a 20 point oh, differential absolutely. there. And um, as we'll see in the second half, um, those field goals that we had, um, you know, if, boy, if we could have made them some touchdowns, it'd have been a lot different. I think earlier on the show, you know, I'm tired. I, it, we got yeah. back late. I said, think we were going to make um, lemons out of lemonade. I meant to say we're going to make lemonade out of lemons. Yeah, well, uh, it, it was it was just one of those nights. I mean, it was it was a great college football game. So we're going to take a break here at the half. Racers up. We'll come back with the second half in just a moment on the Racer Report with Chris Hatcher. Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hi folks and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher, Dave Winder with you. We're going to roll the second half uh, highlights of an epic battle at O'Brien Stadium between the Racers and the Panthers of Eastern Illinois. It was the OVC opener for both teams. And Coach, we pick it up here in the second half. You got the ball first and did something with it. Yeah, we did. We had a nice drive and uh, you know we're up 13 at the point. Again, there's Walter Powell with the big catch. Um, we come back, throw a little quick screen, Dontrell. Um, Watkins makes a, a, a good catch there for about a six yard gain. Um, but it was again, just the story of the evening for us. Um, we, we got in this area of the field and we just couldn't finish the drive. I mean, 
you know, that was a, we had four touchdown passes, right. either dropped or missed, and to me that was one of them. We just, we threw it a little soon, but we did. We came out of there with points. We're up 16, and boy, we're, you know, you're feeling really good about yourself um, at this point. However, they come right back and storm down the field and beat us inside on the goal line, which just can't happen. Well, that was 29 unanswered points by the racers broken up right there. So the racers go back to work. Uh, uh, Janowski Davis makes a nice catch, uh, 12 yard, but then I think this was the first punt of the night. That yeah, it was, and um, that's something we don't like to see, but Mix did a good job. He had two punts on the night, 43 yard average, no return, um, which is good. With it. But they come on back down the field and you know we, we missed some tackles and gave them some, some opportunities and they go back and take advantage of it. Um, but we're up nine, it's still a two score ball game. Okay, so now we're gonna move ahead uh, to, to late third quarter here and uh, that quarterback draw is really uh, beneficial for the racers. Well, they it? gave it to us all night uh, and we took advantage of it. And, um, and here's a, a great play. I believe this is a fourth and one play and Jamal Berry um, gets, just gets pushes three. <laughs> the pile. And um, a big first down conversion for us to keep the drive alive because they've seized a lot of the momentum of the ball game. Okay, so now it's second and 10 from the IU 20. Brady gets a nine yard rush here, nice gain here to the 11. But then there was a personal foul on the racers and you had to settle for yet another field goal. Big play of the ball game. You know, it, boy, we go down and trade that field goal there and for a touchdown, um, it could have just been a whole different night for us. And then we come out, our special teams were outstanding all night. This was about the only run they got. They actually had a block in the back on this. Right. Um, but um, um, old Julian Whitehead forces the fumble. Brandon Hathaway, the freshman, gets the um, gets the recovery. Now it's fourth and 15 now after the fumble. Yeah, well, we just um, shot ourselves in the foot again, and um, we end up taking a sack, and we, we're kind of in no man's land. Too far to kick, it's too close to punt, so we go for it, and we come up a little short, and to me, that may have been the possession of the game. Yeah, yeah I, bet, I think you're right. So now we go to the fourth quarter, racers up, or racers down, uh, they were up 39-34, then Eastern Illinois took it down and scored. That was their first lead since the second quarter, and you see it there from the end zone. It was a three-yard run, three yard run by Walker. Now it's 10-19 to go, and you guys are driving for the winning score here and actually uh, kick a field goal to tie it. Yeah, well, they w made the two-point conversion to go up by three, and that was a fourth down and one catch by Navarre Griffin to keep the drive alive. Um, and, you know, we're grinding it out. Um, here's a good catch there, um, Javante Trotter on it to pick up a first down for us. Um, you know, things are looking good, but again, we get down here close um, and we, we just had a hard time punching it in. Casey scrambles, um, we try to hit Jamal Berry over the middle, mm. we can't hang on to the ball, so we're settled for a field goal right there um, to tie the game, um, which ended up being um, sending us into overtime. Uh, it was a great job by uh, Jordan Benton, though, the, the team needed him to salvage the three points. He did it. He kicked five field goals. And now we're going to go to under five minutes to go uh, in, in the regulation here. Yep. Um, boy, that would have been a good pick by Quay Huzzy. I mean, he's been playing well all year. Um, didn't have his best game the other night. Um, but here um, we, we get a good sack on the, on the quarterback. Zach Ross. Um, you know, making some plays. Um, and then they end up, we force them to punt but it, we had too far to drive, so we have to take the knee um, to go into overtime play. Well, we're gonna take another break here with head coach Chris Hatcher on the race report and really dive into this overtime period on what the strategy was and what exactly happened. And we'll do that next year on the race report with head coach Chris Hatcher. We're coming back in just a moment. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers. Service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers. Two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers. Proud supporters of Murray State Athletics.
explore a new world. You guys have a lot of experience. Come and make your own place. Let's go to the world of Ukusanga. The world of new experiences. Are you in the world? Yes, I'm in the world. I've been in the world. I've been in the world. Chang Chow, lấy đích mày lại. Phải đặt phải vào những cái villa của. Tất cả những điều tốt đẹp nhất đang chờ đón bạn. Dunia Anda untuk dijelajahi, thân xuân đến thế giới. Murray State University, your world to explore. Hi folks, and welcome back to the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. We're now into overtime at Charleston, Illinois, as the racers took on EIU for the OVC opener. It's tied up 42-42. Coach. When's the last time you've been involved in an overtime game? It had been a while for the racers. It was like 2006, the last time they were in one of these. Well, it's the first time that, that I have here. And back at Georgia Southern, I think we set an NCAA record one year. We played in four of them in the same season. And I have not been very good in the overtime play. Um, but we, you know, we went out there. The, the goal is to choose defense first. However, they won the toss, so we got the ball um, to, to start it off. And that's not always bad. If you can go score a touchdown, you really put some pressure on the other team. Okay, so the racers uh, have some key plays in there, but really it, was, it looked quite easy. I think it was a quarterback uh, draw, or it was a pass by Brockman, then a quarterback draw, and you moved it right down inside the 15. Quickly. Well, we did, and the big thing early on, I think we hit Pat Robertson on the left side on that first play, and to get a positive first play in overtime is is huge. And um, then we picked up the first down with the draw. So, you know, we had things moving in our favor, and I was really feeling good about ourselves. Well, we got a great shot of Dwayne Brady's little tiptoe along the sideline where he spun. It was on your side of the field. That was a great play, too. Well, that was the, that was the big one. You know, it looked like he was just going to get a, a, a marginal gain, five or six yards, which we would have taken at that time. But he juked one guy, and he kept his balance, stayed in bounds, and got knocked out right around the three-yard line, which ended up being the big play of overtime for our offense. So then that was uh, first and goal, and uh, Jamal Berry punched it in. So you go for the extra point. That's, that's a no-brainer. Oh, well, there's right, right no there. question. Yeah, yeah. There's no, yeah. no doubt about that. Going for one's the only way to go at okay, that point. Okay, so the racers, the racers go up uh, by the seven points, and now we're into Eastern Illinois' uh, drive. And there was a there was two fourth down plays. Tell us what what, what you kind of saw on those two fourth down plays. Well, the first fourth down, um, you know, we actually they, they tried to run the sneak on third down, and and, right. and we stuffed them, and then they came back. It looked like they were going to try to sneak it again, but they ran the option to um, the near side. And we we well, we had it snuffed out. We had the old Doc Whitehead out there, and and Brandon Wicks, and um, you know, we just we missed the tackle. We ended up making the tackle, but. We had him tackled short of the first down, and they they lunged forward um, to get it. And then the second one, they just um, you know they just ran the quarterback sneak up the middle. Yep. And, but we were fighting and clawing, and then um, of course they they hit us there on the, the the post pattern for the touchdown. They showed us what they were going to do, what kind of formation they were going to line up. I was a little um, surprised that they went for two. I really was uh, the way the game was going. Um, you know, we've been kicking a lot of field goals, but they decided to go for two. We used our timeout. Um, we had a good plan um, there. Um, we had the reverse stopped, and we were just inches away from making the play on the pass. And it was just a devastating way um, to get beat in a game that we did so many good things, but we also did so many things that are not characteristic of a good football team. Well, and you mentioned on, on the, the radio broadcast afterwards that, you know, it, you just didn't play good enough to win the game. That's obvious there was a one-point loss, but when you look back as we've gone through first half, second half, overtime, uh, there was just some, some that you left on the table. Well, I'm very, you know, I'm just very disappointed. I, I, again, I thought that, um, you know, we had the better team. Um, now I'm sure they, Eastern said they had the better team, and they, they have the right to say that. They, they won the game, and um, there's no question um, about it, and it just in the fashion that they won, it makes it more disappointing. But we had way too many opportunities that we missed. And, you know, I told the team after the ball game that um, I, as the game played out there in the fourth quarter, I really didn't think we deserved to win the game. I was hoping we were going to win and find a way and make it a teaching moment. Um, it's a lot easier to teach after a win, right. um, but it did not go our way there in overtime. Well, it was just a tough, tough, bitter loss for the racers, 50-49, uh, to 49, uh, just a tough defeat for Murray State. But now they've got to come back home and uh, regain some momentum this week in practice and get ready for Tennessee Tech. We'll take another break here, come back and get you ready for family weekend, the big game Saturday night next on the Racer Report. Explore a new world. You guys have a lot of experience. Come and make your own place. 
Ichalo chenu ukusanga. Alam jadir bilik tishafat. Enteki dani veit. Ho ishviat da otkreta. Yanzi keshved. Changzhou ledek mei lai. Feres fe velun ke vilago. Tất cả những điều tốt đẹp nhất đang chờ đón bạn. Dunia anda untuk dijelajahi. Thanh xuân de shijie. Murray State University, your world to explore. Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. Hey folks, don't forget to check out the homepage of the Murray State Racers, that's GoRacers.com. We have the new Racer Digital Media Center, it's right on the front page. Check it out, that's where all of the videos for the various sports are banked. You can watch the race report anytime there as well. And uh, we also are feeding our video now to the various sports to the OVC Digital Network. It's all on GoRacers.com. And we're back here with the Racer Report with Head Coach Chris Hatcher. So, very little time to, to feel sorry for yourselves. The next game's coming Saturday night. Tennessee Tech is coming into town, our defending champion. They lost in double overtime at SEMO on Saturday night. They had a heck of a ball game over there in Cape. So this week, what are the racers doing to get ready for that game on Saturday at home? Well, there's a lot of things that can be corrected, but the big thing um, that, that I saw on the field that are very correctable, but we, you know, we just got to get a, a winning attitude, a winning mentality um, within our team. Uh, potentially, we have the skill. Um, but mentally, we have to improve a great deal. Um, it's a little bit different week for us. Um, Sunday night, um, we normally go out and have a light workout. I chose not to do that. Um, you know, we've we've been on the road two weeks in a row. We've gotten back in the, you know, at, at four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning. We've run a lot of plays. Um, so I just felt it would be better suited for us to get away from the game um, on, on Sunday night. They get Monday off, so Tuesday I'm looking for us to come back um, and, and really focus in um, on the job that we have ahead of us. You know, um, what's done is done. There's nothing we can go back to do to improve our record. We're at one and three. I still say we got a good team, um, but we got to take care of business this week. And with Tennessee Tech coming in town, um, you know, I don't care what happened last week. They have a fine football team, and we're going to have to be at our best in order to win that game. Well, and it's it's those days of practice that you are going to have this week. You got to correct what 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 you could get better at, or get better at what what's not going right, and you got to get ready and scheme for a very good opponent. No doubt about it. And you know, I'm always more concerned about us, and I've always been that way. Um, and hopefully, um, we'll we'll make those corrections. We had a a gut check session Sunday evening about the. Um, what we need to do to be a better team. Probably hurt a few feelings, um, but again, when it's all said and done, well, we, were, we were not ready to make the plays, and that falls on, on myself, and, um, and I've, I've vowed to those guys that um, you know, this week we're gonna get after it and we're gonna play a lot better than we did against Eastern Illinois. Well, we'll look forward to that. Saturday, six o'clock, it's family weekend here at the stadium against Tennessee Tech. So one final break here on the Racer Report. We'll come back with more with Chris Hatcher in just a moment.
Like the thoroughbreds we are named for, racers are spirited and proud. We have the heart and will to succeed, to go farther, learn more, and embrace wisdom. We are champions who take our place in the Murray State tradition. We are racers. Roof Brothers, a Paducah tradition for 100 years. Roof Brothers, locally owned, family run. Roof Brothers, the best selection of beer, wine, and spirits found anywhere. Roof Brothers, service from selecting that special beverage for that special occasion to a keg party at the lake. Roof Brothers, two locations to serve you. Roof Brothers, proud supporters of Murray State Athletics. And we're back here on the Racer Report with head coach Chris Hatcher. Uh, it was one of those weeks for the racers. It's just a tough, tough pill to swallow. Coach, take us in, into the locker room after something like that. I mean, the fans will never get to see it. I, I don't get to see it. Uh, and I know you're, and I, I even tweeted Saturday night, my heart breaks for Hatch Attack 1. <laughs> well, and I, all, all of our guys, I mean, you just hate to see them hurting like well, that. Well, you do. And there, there's a lot of work that goes into playing. And anytime you go on the road, um, it's very difficult to come out there w with a win. And, um, you know, we, we just, we, boy, we just didn't play um, like we were capable of playing. And, and, and that's what concerns you and, and makes you disappointed as a coach. And, you know, we, I probably talked to them more after that game than any other game. You never want to talk to them in the heat of the moment because you may say something that you regret. But I was very upfront and very honest with the guys. Um, I thought that um, we did not do the very best we could do all the way across the board. And again, I take the blame for that. And, um, and we're going to do a good job of getting that fixed. But, um, uh, you know, and then you get beat on a two-point conversion in overtime. Um, you know, sometimes those hurt more than getting beat by 50. Um, and it was just a, just a, overall, it was just not a good night for us. I, I know uh, myself personally, I've seen a lot of racer football for many years, but I felt Saturday night like I did uh, in 98-99 when the racers got to the final game of the season against Tennessee State. Winner is the OVC champion. And similar situation there where a blocked field goal and then a, then a made field goal. And uh, well, you just, you just got to rebound and, and put your hat back on and go to work. Well, you, that's all you got to do. And, you know, we got um, seven more opportunities left, start with Tennessee Tech this weekend. And, um, you know, we got to get on the winning track. Winning cures a lot of, so lot sure of, lot of ills, and um, hopefully we'll be able to do that this week. Well, Coach, the Racer Nation is behind you. Thank just you, want Dave. You to, want you to know that. And we'll see you next time on the Racer Report. And as we leave you today, here's the voice of the Racers, Neil Bradley. Morrow with a great catch and run. He's still in there, stands to the right of Brockman. Brockman has the ball, pulls it down, throws to Morrow, catches it to 20, 15, bumps to the outside, five, into the end zone. Jordan Morrow with the score, and it's a one-point ball game. They hand it to Barry. He's into the end zone for the touchdown, and it's 48-42. to 42. The Racers are on the board in the first overtime.